a couple different topics about market. Uh, if the market is hot, like we've seen for the past bunch of years, and I expect to see for the next couple more at least, um, when you find a house that you like, you want to make an offer on it right away. If you see one that looks like something you want to see that might be interest to you, you want to get uh, out and take a look at it as soon as possible. Good stuff doesn't last. Oddly enough, that's true of a slow market too. Even when the market's really, really slow, good deals are good deals and there's already always somebody who wants to buy that good deal. So no matter what, uh, if it's worth buying, it's going to go pretty fast, even in a standard market. And in a fast market, of course, it's going to go really fast and it's going to have multiple offers. That's just what we're dealing with these days. Let's talk about making an offer. Whether it's multiple or are not, you want to make the best offer that you can. And obviously in a even market where it's kind of balanced, we're going to do uh, the best offer that we think will get accepted and we're not competing, it's a little different. If it's competing, we may have escalation clauses, things we can discuss that um, probably not in a video, just it's uh, dependent house to house. But we used to always say you want it to be a, your hand shakes, right? Uh, your hand shakes because it's the best you're willing to do and their hand shakes because hopefully they're excited and um, angstful about the process and so we want to make the best offer that we think can get accepted by that they'll accept and the best offer you're willing to give. Sometimes we can't come to agreement and that's okay then we keep shopping but a lot of the time there's some back and forth and we get it done with a counter offer or you know some something like that. Sometimes it's a counter and a counter and a counter and we still get the job done. It just depends. Let's talk about making an offer as far as what we see on TV and real life. Right on TV, people are like always coming and they're saying, well, I'm gonna, this house is listed at 300, I'm gonna offer 250 and we'll split the difference and get it under contract at 275. Doesn't happen in real life, especially right now with the hot market we're seeing, but even the slow market, doesn't work here. That's not the way our market has ever functioned. Uh, even the slowest of the slowest of the slow, uh, most houses were going under contract at 97% of list. They'll literally reduce their price and give everyone a crack at it versus giving you this screaming deal that you saw somebody get on HGTV. So don't expect to take a big hit off list. Right now, 98, 99, 100%. Some places in the good, we're seeing stuff uh, go at over list. But the entire market, not just one property, the entire market is going over 100% of list price on average. So uh, it's not what you saw on TV. It doesn't work that way.